Hey guys, good evening. Get a load of this mud pit, would ya? Chickens better get some mud flaps on. It has been raining all day. And we are going to do some mud wrestling, chicken style. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. Look at this. Look, listen. You can hear the mud. They've been digging trenches. I guess they're wanting to put in a moat. I don't know. Maybe they're trying to tunnel out. But I think they're enjoying themselves because they're just, they're like mud up to their feathers. Some of these guys, look at this. Look at that. Mud butt. Well, welcome. Welcome to the mud fest. <clears throat> Again, chicken style. The Favrils are all, they're, they're far too good for Mudfest. They're, they still have some green grass over there. I've got plans to get them some green grass, but not when it's raining like this. It's pretty crazy. Um, so, uh, thank you, 146 subscribers, I do think. No, 148. That's right. We're two away from 150. Thank you so much, you guys. You have no idea how much each and every single one of you helps. Every single one of you is just like another little brick in the wall. All in all, y'all, just another brick in my chicken wall. So there's got to be a song in there somewhere, right? But um, yeah, so this is what's happening. The future plans just keep getting better and better, you guys. Like, hey... I, I hope that everyone in their life has had a moment where everything just comes together, where it feels like everything is just falling into place. Like, I've never had a time like that, where I felt like everything was just coming together. Like, not just like, oh, for heaven's sake, goodness, oh, look away, look away. Man, that was jump attack, was it not? He came in Super Saiyan style goodness anyway pardon that little interruption anyway I've never really had a moment in my life where everything just seemed like it was in place you know like I always I've always felt like a little um like there was a rumble underneath you know like there was something something just wasn't quite right you know and just like in the past three months right it's like all of the pu puzzle pieces are coming together. Kind of like in, like, you know how, like, um, the, the, uh, Robert Downey Jr. versions of the Sherlock Holmes movies? I love those. If you, if you've ever watched those, I think there's two or three of them. Um, when he, like, starts to figure out a puzzle or, like, put pieces together, that's what it's been like for, like, the last three months. Like, things are just falling into place magically. And this next step that we're going to take together, you, me, all 148 plus of, of you and me, we're going to take this little journey together and it's going to be life-changing for me. And I hope that, that everybody can gain something from it. Um, but it's, uh, the, the trajectory is in a positive and upward direction. So I hope, um, I hope that everybody can experience that in their life where it just all kind of like starts to come together. It's been, uh, I, I just didn't think it could be that cool, but it's, it's pretty freaking cool. So, but more about that later. I can't really go into many details at the moment. Oh goodness, Laddie got a worm. I think that's what they're doing out here. There are worms all over this hillside. When I come down here at night, because I do that sometimes, because, you know, I'm a freak, um, with my flashlight, if it's been raining like this at night, the dog path, the, the slip and slide, if you've watched along, you know what I'm talking about, um, the hill up behind my house, there's a dirt path worn where my dogs run. That's like their little racetrack, I guess. And when I go up through there with a flashlight on, little worms, earthworms, will just suck back into the ground as I'm walking and the light hits them. Like, as the light hits them, they start sucking back into the ground. 
it's kind of like if you've ever been in a house with a lot or not a house necessarily but anywhere with lots of roaches and you have a flashlight it's like everywhere you shine the light the the roaches run except it's earthworms so I don't know roaches earthworms they're both pretty gross I mean you know but they serve a purpose I'm sure just like roaches I'm sure roaches serve a purpose they just need to go serve it away from me I'm good I'll I'll, I'll I'll love on an earthworm, put them on a hook, but a roach is something that I, I can't tolerate, so they can, they can go serve their purpose elsewhere. <sighs> Same with bed bugs. They can go serve their purpose elsewhere, too, because I can't, for the life of me, think of one reason anyone would need either of those two things, but I don't need them. I know that. My life is much better without them, but yeah, I need to get some water for the button coils. Don't let me forget, guys. <laughs> Don't let me forget that I need water for my button coils. And look at this mud hole. Did you see this? Look at this. They're stomping around in it like it's nothing. They love it. They love being out here playing in the mud. I think the Favrils are actually kind of jealous that they don't get to play in the mud. Got five eggs today. We got seven yesterday. That's a top, that's a top scoring day. So... I think the rain kind of bunked doses today. I think it, it rained on their egg laying parade, so we only got five. But that's okay. That's okay, girls. It's all right. It's all right. I'm not talking down. I'm just talking facts. There was only five today. Seven yesterday. I know you can do it. So you guys are setting the bar. You guys are the ones that are setting the bar. You've set it at 7, so that's what we're expecting every day now. So, eat up those worms, girls. Yes, yes. Yes, and I was able to give my father a loaf of the icorn bread. So, I made, I made uh, three loaves of bread yesterday. I should have done a video about it because they were... They, but, here's the thing, right? They didn't turn out as beautifully as I had wanted them to. Like, I'm, I'm a horrible bread baker. I'm just going to say it out loud. And this is like bread baking for dummies is what I would like to call this einkorn bread. Is like bread baking for dummies because I do it well. And I'm, I'm horrible at kneading. I'm horrible at baking bread, right? I don't like the sticky. I don't like the, I don't like the mess. So, good lord. You, chickens are violence. But, um, anyway, so I found this, I, this einkorn bread and I can make it, it's easy, six ingredients, throw them together, voila, right? You have bread magically. And so I started baking it like crazy and it's really good for you too. Um, it's like one of the ancient grains. It's good stuff. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's really good. But, um, it's, and it's pricey, but no pricier than buying a loaf of bread on its own if you don't buy the cheapest bread out there. Like, I wasn't buying the cheapest bread out there, and it is, like, really expensive for a loaf of bread. And, like, that pack of flour that I get is seven fifty, and it makes two loaves. So that means that I'm paying, like, three seventy five or so per loaf because the other ingredients are kind of nominal. So, um, a nominal. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. But, uh... Yeah, so anyway, so I made these three loaves of bread, and I was disappointed because the tops of them were, like, really weird looking because, again, I'm a messy bread baker, and so I put them in the oven, and I was like, okay, this, these are going to be horrible, and so I wasn't planning on giving them to anyone, right? Well, then I pulled them out, and I, um, I took them out of their, of their houses, and they were, uh, they didn't look so good and I did a different technique this time which my bad I shouldn't have done it but I used oil instead of butter on the bread pans and they stuck like chuck it was so bad I, I have never had them stuck stick like that so bad on me for doing that but I did um, put oil on the, the uh, saran that I put on top of the bread to let it um, proof once it's in the bread pan and that seemed to work better than butter so that little experiment did kind of work in a way, but it, it, it worked against me in a bigger way because of the stickage on the pan was very bad, very bad. 
Um, and also if I put butter on the pans to, to lubricate them, because I don't like Pam, that stuff freaks me out. Don't know what it is, don't know where it comes from. Oil should not be under pressure like that and still be edible in my head. Anyway, so um, I use butter or EVO and uh, the butter on the inside of the bread pans, because I only use glass bread pans, um, it kind of infused a little bit of a buttery taste to the crust. So yeah, that I won't won't do the oil thing again. But anyway, so when I tried to pull them out, they were stuck really bad. Not real bad. They they were still usable, but they were um, they were stuck a lot, a lot more vigorously stuck than they normally are. So um, I was worried about that. And the, and then the first loaf that we sliced, which I now know we sliced a little bit too early, was so crumbly, like it was just falling apart really really bad. So I was really worried that they weren't going to be right. And so I wasn't going to be able to gift anything to people because it's only good for like two or three days. So if you're just giving it to a single person, they would probably want to cut it in half and freeze half of it or just give them half a loaf. Um, so I was thinking of my dad and I was like, OK, I'm going to give him one of these loaves. And then when I saw how horrible it was, I was like, oh, OK, so I can't give this to anyone because I'm embarrassed for my bad bread. And then um, after it like thoroughly cooled and was like down to like you know room temperature I sliced into the end of one and it was so beautiful it, it was so like firm and and solid a little bit of the crust on the edges still likes to, to chip away a little bit but it was beautiful and I was able to give him one of them and I just feel much better about life um, because you know honor thy father right that's what I'm doing Love my daddy. So, all right. I think I've rambled enough about my bread baking catastrophes and weirdness. So, thank you very much for tuning in. Oh, I said I was going to get a trivia card. You guys, I'm just I'm just losing out on everything when it comes to videos today. Meant to grab one this morning, didn't do it. Meant to bring quail water down, didn't do it. Okay, so, hmm, maybe I just have a lot on my mind because of these great and wonderful things that are happening this wonderful journey that i'm going to take you all on make sure you like comment share subscribe because i'm telling you big things are coming you guys have no idea you don't even know it's going to be incredible so I'll, i'm going to i cannot wait to tell people i'm like dying Arr, i have to tell someone so yeah all right guys i'll talk to you later tomorrow is wednesday Weirdo Wednesday, I'll be here. So there you go. We've got the weirdo filled in, filling filled the weirdo part of Wednesday is taken care of because I will be there. All right. Hopefully you will be there too. Morning edition, evening edition. Make sure that you're checking for both, and have a wonderful, wonderful day, guys. Bye bye.